All right, here we go. A, another great episode here. We are going to be prideful on this one. Yeah. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we've got a lot of information to talk about on something that's upcoming. Uh, another episode. This is The Vital Wire. All right, so uh, back from our break. Mm -hmm. So we are kind of jiving on a bunch of different things in the practice. We've had a great start already back. Yeah, for real. <laughs> and we've had l literally just multiple people take the next steps. Mm -hmm. But one thing that we're super excited about and that we want to talk about is, and we've done a, a podcast before you and I on launching the Ultimate Sports Physical. Right. We're not going to be talking about the ultimate sports physical so much, but the fact that it's already hit this area. Yeah. We had literally, we come back from break, <laughs> we come in Monday uh -huh. and four people call, yep. one walks in, yep. <laughs> four people call just yesterday saying they want to have their student athlete yeah. do the ultimate sports physical. Yeah. Uh, we also had a few other clients take the next step mm -hmm. and you know, they wanted to do soft wave or they want to do blood work. We had another one just right now yeah. before we started the podcast. Uh, and so it's super cool to see people take the next steps, but to see something that we've literally curated over the past two like or our three. little baby. I know. <laughs> and, and you know, we can go so many different routes on this and I might take this this way first is yes, our little baby that we've created <laughs> And in a very short period of time, I think one thing that we should learn from this and really pay attention to yeah. is just do it. Yeah. Like f we're finding what we're passionate about. We have great people around us. We all work very well together. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a lot of people, no matter what it is, that take that little thing, take that little spark, figure out how to deliver it, figure out how to communicate it and figure out what it solves, yeah. what it gives somebody and just do it. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be healthcare. Whatever you're into, if there's something you want to provide, and it doesn't have to be a service necessarily, mm -hmm. but there's like everybody's... A hobby, a trip, yeah. literally any of it. <laughs> so, But it's cool to see that this little thing that we've created yeah. that we're super passionate about has a lot of value. In all honesty, we knew it did. Yeah. We knew you know parents wanted to get data on their athletes with how things are going, but to just do it and put it out there mm -hmm. and be honest with people like this is evolving right. like this is only going to get better yeah. uh is has been super super cool yeah. um and then literally this morning was another one so we've yep. had five yeah. in the past <laughs> Not 18 even, hours yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but on that we do we've done uh we did a dinner yep uh just a couple weeks ago which was super great mm -hmm. client dinner we talked more about what we do dove into uh, why we do what we do, what questions do you have mm -hmm. with how you've been under care, what, what is it you want to know? Yeah, kind of like bringing you back to like, what have you really noticed? Like, why did you start care? Kind of like your, find your why. It was yeah. kind of like that, honestly. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, ask questions on what you still don't know, mm -hmm. but you're experiencing and, you know, the unexplainables. It's like, how does this work? Yeah. I've only gotten better with this. Right. So now we're going to do another one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, pending, stay tuned, but I think we've had enough demand and the left people enjoyed it and they want to bring guests yeah. that we're going to do another client dinner yeah. at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Okay. But one thing that we do want everybody to know, this is a hard date already set that August 8th yep. at 6.30, that's a Tuesday night, yeah. we are actually putting on how to take better care of our student athletes. Yeah. It's a dinner that's going to be here. We're going to have food. So put it on your calendar, August 8th, yep. 6.30, here at Vital Performance in Cottleville, 6049 Mid Rivers <laughs> Mall Drive in Cottleville. We've already got 11 or 12 yeah. the last time. I, I know we're over 10 Yeah. already. This has been out for the past week or so. Uh, we're going to cap it at 30. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're definitely going to get to 30. Yeah. So have if to cap it. You, you want to come and experience the culture, what we're going to talk about, or if you do have a student athlete and you want to know more in this data that we're providing and the ultimate sports physical and what does care look like? How do we take care of yeah. our student athletes? Not even if you're the parent of one, like if you coach student athletes, if you interact yes. with them at all, 
that is something that you can come to and we really want you to. Such a good point. And so this is not just a client exclusive mm -hmm. dinner. We are actively trying to engage you, yeah. our community. Yeah. Uh, I don't care if you're in Nebraska, yeah. Vermont, like we will, if, you, if you're if you like, we want this done, yeah. we'll fly on our out. Way. Yeah, <laughs> on our way. But we are doing that dinner. And, and so if it, she brings up a, such a good point mm -hmm. is if you interact with student athletes, yeah. parent, coach, trainer, uh, PT, PTs, ATs. ATs, like we are so collaborative that we want, we want to give this information to you. But if you interact with student athletes at all, yeah. I would, I would highly suggest coming to the dinner. If not, mm -hmm. just come eat the food. You're not right. going to pay for right. it. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, uh, we're, we're capping it at 30. Mm -hmm. So we've already got 10, 11, 12. Yeah. I know we're over 10, 11, 12, 13 yeah. people at least at this point, but that's August 8th, 630 here at the practice. Yeah. So on that, uh, I just kind of want to get back to what, like, what did this look like before, but also we've had eight, nine, ten in just the past few mm -hmm. weeks already do this ultimate sports physical and we have five more on the schedule and right. it's only compounding. Yeah. But what have, what's been the, what have we heard as far as the feedback at this point that I don't think there's one person that hasn't been like, whoa. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then the, the coolest thing is, is we're not trying to find what's wrong, no. right? It's, it's what are, what's, what's the tendencies? Where, where are some of the downfalls? So we're not trying to find out what's wrong. And I, I preface that to say this, because most oftentimes after we go through the complete ultimate sports physical and it's finished, yeah. we come back, we bring them back to go over the report Everything. that you have beautifully drawn up, <laughs> take all of our thoughts and both of our heads and you've crafted this whole report on here's what we're seeing, here's what we know, here's what the structure looks like, here's what the function, mm -hmm. and everybody's been like, holy cow, this yeah. data is incredible. Like, I wish I would have done this when he was a freshman. Yeah, yeah. And they always go, so what do we do? Right. That's been the coolest thing mm -hmm. because it's like, listen, like, yes, we have a service to sell. Yeah. We're not trying to sell you on the service. Mm -mm. <laughs> and it's been so cool to see them. I'm just, I mean, I don't know how to say it. See them sell themselves on how do we fix it? Yep. Cause we have the answer. Right. So just know that we're trying to give you the data mm -hmm. to give you the next logical step of, well, do I value this? Does this make sense? And does this give me what I need to fix, enhance, accelerate, yeah. progress, whatever it is. And they always ask, like, well, how do we fix it? Right. Because then that opens up. We know they're, they value it. We know they want to take the next step. And it's like, well, that's good because here's, Here it the, is. <laughs> here's the plan. Yeah. And we have three different options. Here's my hard recommendations. If you want everything, if mm -hmm. you want care like the pros, yeah. we have a care version like of the that as there as well. Here you go. Yeah. This I think my favorite it. part has been watching the athlete's reaction. Because, yeah. like, we talk to parents, like, all the time like we're like parents come in bring your athletes but whenever we're going over the report and like I'm going over the AMI and I'm like do you not have a very good vertical like have you ever been told that and they're like yeah yeah and then they're like their eyes just like light up because they're like I'm being validated and mm -hmm. like as an athlete you have to be validated or else you're not going to go any further than what they are now right so I think that's my favorite part as well as whenever the athlete's the one like okay so like do I come back tomorrow mm -hmm. like yeah actually and here's all your exercises and then you're gonna check in with me in two weeks and we're gonna talk about this and they're all like okay okay like yeah. just the, the light in their eyes yeah. it's so cool because a, a lot of times too and, and that's why we say you know if you're if you're a strength coach if you're a trainer if you're like we're not like here's what here, I'll just put this to bed right now yeah we're going to talk about this at the dinner and we want I want every strength coach Every trainer, personal trainer, um, trainers at P3, I don't care where you're at, yeah. like come to this because here's what we're not doing. Yeah. We're not trying to undercut those kinds of people. Not at all. We're trying to work with you because we all want, we all do want what's best. I think we get very narrow sometimes and very focused and we just got to do it, got to lift, got to lift hard, got to eat, got to, mm -hmm. it's like, let's stop doing it nonsensically. And we just want to help you. Yeah. Like if we had the trainer from Howell and Howell Central and Lindenwood and like wherever, they come and listen to this and they, I, I truly feel like, wow, if I could get that data, mm -hmm. we could train each athlete very yeah. specifically to get them to do better what we and they want and need to do better. Yeah. 
Well, it's like we see athletes all the time, you're like, they have such a natural ability. Then they get to high school and they're not being trained correctly for what they need. So like, mm -hmm. oh, that athlete plateaued, like they, they peaked. No, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. They weren't being trained correctly and mm -hmm. what they needed and that's why they peaked. Mm -hmm. There is no peaking in athletics. If you wanna be an athlete, you can be an athlete. Mm -hmm. You just have to do it correctly. That's literally what we're trying to do. Yeah. Kobe, are doing, not trying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are, yeah. No yeah. doubt, no doubt. We are doing. You know, Kobe Bryant didn't train nonsensically. Uh, they, there was there was a plan, yeah. like the talent, obviously, for somebody like that. You know, you look at all those elite level athletes, mm -hmm. and, and Kobe was my dude. I mean, he, yeah. was, he was my guy. Uh, but he didn't train nonsensically. He didn't eat nonsensically. Mm -hmm. He didn't, and that's a big thing. But I just want people to know, like, we're not trying to. Oh, well, your trainer's wrong, and this is what you need. No. no, it's like we've told everybody who's come in so far, or we've asked them, do you train with somebody like? I would highly advise you give this data yes. to them because it will help them. Mm -hmm. Because here's what we're not going to do is undercut them. We want to collaborate with the community. So we're not going to undercut them. Right. We want more of them to come to us and be like, man, like, how can we do this together? Mm -hmm. um, can you do this for me? If I sent you people, could you do this? for? And it's like, heck yeah. yeah. And if we have people that come in, like, we're pretty good. We can, we can structure fitness plans if needed. But at the same time, if we know who you work with or know who you want to work with, then we just have a pocket full of trainers right. who are like, this one's in Cottleville, this one's right. in Wentzville, this one's in Lake St. Louis, this one's in South County. Mm -hmm. Like, let's just all work together to give athletes the care that they need and just start taking better care of them. Yeah, well, and for any ones we've already done, like, we encourage them, like, do you want to share this with your, like, athletic trainer, your personal trainer, your strength conditioning coach? And, like, they can come in. Like, I'll gladly go over this with them, too. And same thing with anyone going forward. Like, whoever you want to bring to that second appointment, whether it be your coach, mm -hmm. like, your strength and conditioning coach, like, come on in. I'll, like, gladly. If yeah. we're going to help the athlete, like, that is our goal. And like you were saying, we get so narrow-minded sometimes of, like, well, this is my, like, scope of practice. Okay, but, like, if we broaden our scope, mm -hmm. like, the common goal is helping the athlete. Yep. No athlete has ever gone to just one facility to do anything. No. I don't care if you're a professional. Yeah. I see so many friends that see um, professional athletes in, in Tampa Bay, in Charlotte, and, and no athlete has ever done one th like everything at mm -hmm. one facility. No. So it's like, oh, well, we can do that for you. It's like, hang on a second. So for all of you that are like, oh, well, I can do that better, well, then go ahead. We don't yeah. want to work with you anyway. Yeah. What we're trying to do is get all of us to work together with all of us because one, everybody's going to have a different focus perspective, mm -hmm. and it's only going to give that athlete the ability to see from different angles, and we're all going to be able to give the best care and outcomes and progress and plan to get that athlete to wherever it is they want to be. Right. Do they just want to play club soccer or, or club ball in college? Do they want to go D1? Do they want to go to Power 5 school? Do they just want to go D3? What positions do they play? What positions do they want to get into? There's mm -hmm. so much to take into account. And if we can all start to play together, man, like there's, we talk about this all the time. Mm -hmm. St. Louis is such a talent yeah. pool. Yeah. And it's just like to be on the front end of this, like that, we want everybody to know that that's our goal. Mm -hmm. We can give, help give the data to help whoever and whatever you train with yeah. to continue to take it to the next level. Whether they listen to it or not is up to them. Mm -hmm. But I think once trainers and strength coaches get wind of this like guys we i'm telling you again <laughs> we want to only help you mm -hmm. we're not telling you how to do your job mm -mm. but this gives you so many and it, honestly i think it's going to make your job easier yeah a lot easier because you won't have to go back and be like well i don't know why that athlete isn't progressing the same way yeah. well i'll tell you why because they're not the same person mm -hmm. and they shouldn't be doing the same prescription right and what if we share you know what if we collaborate and we're able to share with like here is so based on the data based on the report mm -hmm. and based on everything we've done, here is the suggested spit out that we've already created yep. of, you know, and it's quite a few exercises in strength, yeah. uh, uh, strength motions that they can do and you can pick from them. Mm -hmm. You don't have to sit there and rack your brain. Like it's almost a done for you. Select a few, add the couple in that maybe yep. aren't in there that you totally jive on. Like right. great, but it's going to make your job easier. Right. Cut down time. Yeah, for Pe sure. Piece of cake. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, I'm just so excited to see, you know, that room fill up yeah. on the 8th. Yeah. And uh, really, I think people are starting to see our heart that this is much needed. Yeah. Um, I think we're way behind on this. There's no reason to wait mm -mm. until we're 
uh, till we have a, co- a multi-million dollar contract, right. until we go to a D1, D2 school or a school that has a bunch of amenities. Uh, why, why wait now? Mm-hmm. Um, the, the eight and nine-year-olds, like, let's face it. And I don't know if we've talked about this before, but times have changed. Yeah. Athletes are different now. And the, the way they're built, the way they're growing up, what they're doing, what they're kind of demanded to do, what it say, takes yeah. to get there. Uh, I think we lose our way in some of it and get a little too like, oh, we got to do this, train, 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 uh, eat, 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 pack on the weight. And it's like, you know, I think we kind of lose our way. And mm-hmm. I think the end goal is is just. I think there's a, a, a good reason for that, so to speak. Yeah. But like these kids are only getting bigger, faster, stronger, training younger. Yep. And it's like, what's the impact that it's making? How susceptible are they to injury? What can we do now? mindset starting to shift and it all goes back to something that I say all the time is if anybody not just parents in this scenario anybody in the world when it comes to things like this and healthcare and what they can do to better themselves mm-hmm. and overcome and train and whatever it is their goals are in their health yeah if they knew the resources that were out there mm-hmm. they would take advantage of it it's not a $20 physical Mm-mm. it's not and we've had multiple people and we'll have 20 by the end of next week at least that will have done this sports physical in the first three weeks of even really broadcasting it yeah it's just i don't know it's such a blessing it really it really fills me up inside yeah (laughs) i mean and for us both to start thinking of like this is evolving like there's a next level of this Mm -hmm. and for us to be sitting here racking our brains it's like well should we hire? I don't know. Can we afford to hire? Well, if we want to do more of these, I mean, we had five sign up yesterday yeah. or four sign up, five in the past 18 hours yeah. sign up. It's like, how are we going to do it all? Yeah. It's already starting to shift. Um, and so, but the evolution of this is I, you know, stay tuned because it's part of, you know, what vital performance is putting out as a brand yeah. is only trying to be on the front edge and give resources for you to make, the next best decision. Right. And like, I encourage if anyone's like, I don't really know, like online, I'm not really like an online person to read about it. Come on in, like walk, walk in, like we'll talk to you and walk in. And if you don't end up scheduling with us, like that is totally fine. But if you need to feel us out to see if we're a good fit for you, go for it. You're like, I, my athletes only gone to the same person for 18 years. Like, okay, come on in. Yeah. Yeah. Totally fine. Because here's what we're going to do. And if you have questions on this, like there's, Again, unapologetically, like, yes, there's ads running out there. Mm-hmm. Like, we are marketing this to get it out as fast as possible. So right. if you wouldn't mind sharing it, and those of you that are listening that have done this, yeah. please share it. Share it with somebody. Share it with a teammate. Share it with your team. But here's the thing. Book the consultation. Mm-hmm. Like, do a call with us. Yeah. Like, nobody comes in this office before speaking with us. And I'm going to go ahead. We haven't implemented this yet, but it's going to happen right now. You can jump on a call with either myself or Erin mm-hmm. at this point. And we'll open her calendar up. Like, whoever you feel you'll drive with most, if you don't care, whoever's available yeah, at that time. I love that. And just jump on a call with us. Ask your questions. What's it going to be? Why does it cost so much? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's 250 bucks, and you're getting a whole lot of value. Like we're doing three, can, you know, huge evaluations, but to so their 250 now or thousands in medical bills, right. and it's going to go up. Yeah, like we're that that price is going to go up anyway. But get on the call with one of us and ask your questions. Yeah, cool. We'll build the value. Ask the the soon to be 20 other people who have done this in the next two weeks here. Yeah. Um, what they have thought. And we'll start to put some reviews out, mm-hmm. but book the call first and ask your questions. And I, if you're not happy with what you're hearing and how that process is going to go, that's fine. Yeah. It's okay. But I think you're very much going to be wowed yeah. with what you're going to receive and yeah. the information you're going to get. Um, because then it, it's also trackable. So right. it's like down the road. And, and again, these are all things like we're kind of touching on some foundational points because at that dinner, uh, August 8th, is when we're going to kind of dive in. Mm -hmm. Why are we doing this? And here's something I forgot to mention too. We haven't even released this yet. My team knows this. Don't think I'm going to release all of it. We do have special guests that are going to be speaking in a couple different, uh, the people we've mentioned that we'd love to collaborate with. Uh, We have a a uh, couple, I'll just leave it at a couple guests who will also be speaking with us. It will not just be Aaron and I. There is proof that other people are already taking action and seeing in other industries yeah. that want to be a part of this. And we said, hey, 
uh, we trust you enough, we value you enough, mm -hmm. how would you like to come speak yep. with us and build more value uh, on what we're going to be able to do together and what yeah. we're giving these student athletes. So there's at least going to be four of us as a panel. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. There's just, it's, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know how all of us are going to get a word in edgewise, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. But there's going to be four of us on a panel that are going to be talk, be able to speak from four different perspectives, clinically, professionally, um, athletically. Ex I mean, just from so many different angles, uh, and we've all been high elite level athletes. Mm -hmm. I will say that. Uh, so we know what this is about. We know what we've been through. We know what's coming. We know what we're a part of clinically and what we're seeing every day. Yeah. So, but the perspectives will be interesting to see on yeah. the come from and how each one of us speaks. And you get food. Perspectives <laughs> and food. <laughs> no doubt. Um, what else? So much things happening. I I know we've got uh, a lot of our athletes coming back into town, yeah. which has been super it's cool. Like everyone's moving back. People are having summer camps, mm -hmm. um, starting summer sessions, which people who have done the physical and they're going to those summer sessions are like, I'm doing both. So don't think yeah. of it as like a replacement yes. for your training already. Like you're going to go to your pitching coach and you're going to do your stuff from us. Like yes. they go together. Yes. Also. Absolutely. Absolutely. And a lot of people have asked too about the, the sports physical and we're going to go over this um, at the, at the dinner as well is like, just because you have a sports physical, like, yes, your Misha sports physical here gets done and signed yeah. off. Like, Oh, I had somebody tell me, Oh, well, I've already got sports physical. Well, I don't think we need to do that. I missed the boat there. And it, it, it taught me very quickly. Like, yeah. well, hang on, just because you have a sports physical done doesn't mean you can't do this. Right. I would still highly, highly suggest you do it. Uh, we'll always take care of the sports physical. Yeah. If you've done a sports physical, uh, ultimate sports physical here, if you ever need another, um, another signature. If you need another sports physical, we can take care of right. that. But just because you have your high school sports physical already done, it's even more reason for you to come finish the rest of the story yeah. before you start. Because now you're going into a sport not having the data that you could have had to be yeah. able to train or what are you getting into before the sport starts. Because we all know how hard these student athletes are training mm -hmm. right now yeah. off of school, right? Say it's the off season. <laughs> Some most people go hard. Yeah, uh, uh, most uh, probably the most important time is is the the fifth quarter, the yep. fourth period. Yep. is the off season. Yeah, and uh, I sometimes I I wonder, and one thing I'd love to speak on more is it's like the off season is the most important season. Yeah, uh, Kobe Bryant. I remember uh, watching shoot. This was years ago. <laughs> I was I was in high school, and I remember they lost one of the series, and uh, they came up to him and said. You know, I know this is a tough time. He was doing an interview after the game. They just got eliminated from the, the, the playoff finals. Yeah. And uh, he goes, I know this is a tough time. And they start doing the interview, and he's just very super one-worded. And he goes, so anything that you can do, you know, what's the plan for next season? How do you start training now? He's like, it, it started five minutes ago. Right. And it was like, whoa. Yeah. I mean, that's – if you want to play at that level, that's what it takes. So getting, getting the evaluation done is a part of that. We should be already training not going into a season flat yeah. and if you are training and if you do have that mindset and that elite level no matter what where you're trying to go and how uh you know how you play as an athlete it's important to get this done because yeah. at the end of the day it's about your health mm -hmm. it's about saving you from injury it's about uh mitigating degeneration faster yeah and really mitigating it if at all i'm saying saving your mental health there's so much that comes from from that's going to come from that talk that I think is going to round off a lot of like, Oh, yeah. I get it now. I get it now. And, you know, and just like we, we had talked at the kind of at the beginning of the one thing that they say when they're done with it is like, well, what do we do about it? Mm -hmm. How do we make it better? How do we fix it? I think a lot of people after this talk are going to be like, so can I schedule tonight? Yeah. yeah. That's the goal. Yeah. And I think we're going to see a lot of that. So uh, super excited for that talk. What you got? Hmm. What are you up to? Let's see. I'm leaving for dance camp tomorrow. Dance camp? Yep. Bye By bye. the time this comes out, I will be back. So. <laughs> um, other than that, gearing up for coaching another season. Yeah. I'm all my all my athletes are like, can I come do the physical? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Can't do all of you at once, but yes. yes. <laughs> like, can we go open up the office after hours? <laughs> <laughs> can we do the recovery hallway? Yeah. Yeah. Send it. Come say on. people like Linda what's coming back right now all the dancers are like so can I come to the recovery hallway I'm like mm-hmm absolutely yeah welcome back in. yeah 
absolutely. We'll have to see when. We'll have to re revisit when is move in. Yeah. Because, and I'll tell you, like for those of you, we have some of the parents from some of the teams we yeah. take care of that listen. I know. Uh, so if you're hearing this. Uh, if you're going to be in town moving mm-hmm. your athlete in, or if you happen to be in the area, or if you already live here, like come to this, yeah, come check it out. And if you are a college athlete and it's like, well, I get my sports physical done again, yeah. you know, you don't need a mission physical, but you're still going to get this done. We've had a couple football players already do it. Yeah. And so that's been good. So still get this done. But if you're in the area, if you happen to be here on move in, if you're, if you already live here, come, yeah, come get, uh, get on the RSVP. First of all, yeah. we'll send that link back out again. Mm-hmm. But come and hear what we have to say, ask us questions, there'll be Q and A. And like I said, there's gonna be four of us. Right. So it'll be super, super good. Yeah, or come like come with your athlete. Like we, I love yep. when people like their parent comes and they're like, Oh, this is what you've been doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because the thing is, is like this is geared, how do we take better care of our student athletes? Our goal is to have all the parents in the room. Yeah. You know, if if Johnny doesn't wanna come because he thinks it's gonna be boring, it's like I'd suggest he come. Yeah. I think he'd enjoy it. But the parents, like, yes, bring your student athlete. Um, this is definitely going to be parent centered. Right. But a lot of these student athletes will understand the yeah. content. They'll all start sitting like this, and then they'll be like, oh. Yeah. Oh, it's I like, understand. Oh, he's not just going to talk my head off on yeah. what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. It's like, no, no, no. We're going to fix and get you to where you're doing everything you want to do better mm-hmm. and right. Yeah. But four different perspectives, great food, uh, rounding. Off summer, yeah, it's going quickly. Oh, that's wild! <laughs> <laughs> We're in middle of July already. Yeah. We blinked. So, well, super excited. Get signed up. Yep. August eighth, six thirty. We'll have food here. Let us know what you need. Yeah. But we will be ready for you. Uh, if you're interested in the client dinner that we should be putting on before that, yeah. Uh, go ahead, and we will get a link out for that as well. Yeah. But August eighth, six thirty. See here. you guys there. <laughs> See ya.